Hello Cancer, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Jess, I am an intuitive tarot oracle card reader. Today we are focusing on the February 2021 tarot scopes. I've already gone ahead and pulled a couple of the cards here. We have the Six of Wands, the High Priestess in Reverse, and the Five of Swords Reverse. So we are focusing on some deeply rooted issues here. Um, and I just want to pull out one more clarifier, but I guess they want to give me two, so that's okay. We have the Emperor and the Hanged Man. Wow. Okay, Cancer, we are in for a heavy reading, that's for sure. We let okay, so let's start with the Six of Wands here, which is the first card that came out. We are giving back to people, but we are also trying to feed the new here. The Six of Wands also focuses on, on something of the mind. It's our thoughts. It's showing that we have success. So we got this flower of bouquet and we are able to give flowers to everybody in their life that has helped us get to success, that has helped us get to victory. Um, so it's kind of like indicating that somebody is being a leader or they are finally riding at a point in their life where they can feel confident, um, that they can feel proud of themselves again, like they can have a higher self-esteem. So when the Six of Wands uh, shows up, it, it's indicating that there is a lot of stability in your relationships. Maybe you and your partner are achieving some sort of goal together. Uh, maybe you're just being a little bit more supportive, but it's also sharing each other's victories. Like, okay, perfect. We are both now at a point in our lives where we can finally build stability. It's also indicating that um, this there's there could be somebody coming into your life who is confident. Somebody who um, will maybe put you on a pedestal, or maybe you'll want to put somebody on a pedestal. And I just feel like this is a very good omen to get with relationships, also with money and careers. This is um, maybe a promotion. Maybe you are starting to see that you have gotten a little bit more money at work or um, maybe you're starting to see that there's a lot of great results coming from this. Maybe you're wanting to start your own thing or you're achieving just a whole other level of success in your life. Um, there's a lot of great drive and enthusiasm wrapped around this. So I feel like financially, you have to make sure that nothing really goes to your head. You have to make sure that you're keeping balance here. Because as much as you can give away some of the stuff in your life or your thoughts or like, I'm hearing Penny for your thoughts, you have to be a person of confidence and you have to be able to um, reap the rewards of your hard work. I feel like sometimes credit is given where it shouldn't be. Like, I feel like some people are um, getting credit for the things that you do. But it, this, the Six of Wands are just kind of like making sure that you will take the time to stay on this path that you're on. Don't let any sort of attention of how well you're doing go to your head, okay? That is why the High Priestess is here in reverse because this is focusing on some really deeply rooted issues. Like I said, soul, mind, spirit. Um, these are things that have been stuck with you for a very long time. These are things that are hard to change, but it's also this witch trying to get her tarot reading. Think of this as you trying to get this tarot reading and you have a hard time um, following or listening to your intuition. I feel as if... Um, you are more focused on the opinions of others or you are trying really hard to win somebody else's approval you have done really well for yourself but now you're you're still focused on the other people see how you've done so well for yourself but you're still giving to other people that is what we're that's what we're talking about this is what we're focusing on you have to trust yourself you need to take the time to connect with yourself and listen to your inner voice the people in your life um i think that you'll you'll see that you'll be highly desired or maybe you're going to question people's motives i think there's going to be attention to areas where you felt uncomfortable with some people and you can expect that there's going to be some 
emotional outbursts and I don't think they're going to be able to control to be controlled because whether this is an, an emotional outburst from you or somebody in your life this is somebody who does not have the control of their emotions their intuition okay um, I think you need to find yourself because you'll be losing patience. I think that your partners will be losing patience. People are going to be losing their their temper. You need to take time out for yourself. That is also indicating that um, you're not being kept in the loop at work. Um, in your social circle, I think you've been feeling a little bit isolated and detached as a result because of the way that you feel. Um, I think it's you need to be careful who you trust financially speaking um you you need to make sure you understand all the conditions before you make big purchases don't go out taking a loan go don't go out signing any sort of contract for february because you there's somebody that's not being honest with you and you need to trust your intuition if it doesn't feel right it's not right okay so this high priestess is really, really playing into um, the, the, the being careful, the being overly dependent on somebody, being overly dependent on other people. You need to take time to relax and do what your gut is telling you to do. That's why the five of swords is here. Because the five of swords, we measure our journeys on a scale of one to ten. Five is focusing on your... Um, conflict right now you are smack dab in the middle of this conflict and it's kind of constructive and destructive tend tendon blah 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 tendencies i couldn't get that out um but i feel as if because you are doing so well maybe you are just so stressed out because it took a lot of work for you to get to this certain point of your life um that you are now finding a, a, a peace a peaceful resolution you moving on there's some sort of compromise here you are finally letting go of stress here um, it's also representing someone who is being held accountable for their actions finally maybe you need to take accountability for the things that you have done um, there are things actions people remorse there's shame that is tied to this, but it's also surrendering to challenges. The, this is about compromise. This is overcoming coming stress and challenges. Um, you need to pay attention to the warning signs that are around you. I feel like the people in your life um, are, are seeking attention. You, you, are, you need to put an end to conflict in the relationships with your friendships. You are learning to compromise. You can't just let bygones be, be bygones anymore. If you messed up, you messed up and own it. You need to do that. And if the other person messed up, they need to do that too. Um, these are patterns that haven't changed. And it's giving you this time to do that. The five of swords reverse can be an indication of a complete and total breakdown of communication. Um, so if, if either of you, your, your friends, your, your family, your partner are being unfaithful or um, not being totally honest with each other, then this is just telling you that um, everything is going to be exposed quite publicly. So yeah, <laughs> this is definitely focusing on the people that you are surrounding yourself with. If you have some dirty laundry that you need to air out, well, I suggest that you do that for yourself. Address the people. Um, and, and be sure that you are, are like I said, you're not letting bygones be, be, got, be bygones because that's not the way to live anymore. Um, because it does indicate in the career factor that this conflict in the work, workplace will come to an end. This conflict that you're dealing with with people will come to an end. Um, this card is like making you see that the major sacrifices that you've had to make or that you will have to make to overcome these challenges in your career. Financially, um, I feel like there will be a little bit of a struggle to manage your finances. This card would be seeing you in some sort of compromise here. Um, but I think you, you need to deal with the financial aspect. I feel like 
there's something here that's going to come back to bite you or you're just unsure about where to go here um i feel like you can't be giving your money away as well you also have the emperor here so this is a a pretty big card to get and the hanged man that came out together these two you're changing your perspective you are gaining a, a different level of um what's the word respect you're, you're, yes that's the word um a different level of respect so let's let's go with the emperor first okay so you are now in the position to move in a spiritual direction that really really works for you and that's why the emperor is here um you have either mapped out your course of action what you're going to do how you're going to do it um and that is why you you've changed this point of view here okay the emperor is somebody who is very stable somebody who had to grow up fast is what i'm hearing and it's also very protectiveness it's somebody who's logical so through this time of you learning that you are giving yourself to people that may not be really serving you or you will you are finally seeing that you have um, some sort of accountability in the way that people have been treating you or the way that you have treated people. The Emperor is coming in to say you are now practical. Practical. You are rigid and you're stubborn, but you know what is right. You know that you are able to um, handle the task at hand and it's just going to allow you to be a lot wiser and more mature. This is a really good time for you to um, be with someone or around people that can structure you, somebody who can give you routine. This is a sign that maybe you need to be more open with your feelings. If you have feelings of someone in particular, then you need to be a little bit more blunt about it, bite the bullet, tell them. Um, but also that goes with your relationships too if you're already in a relationship your your co-workers your friends your family you need to be honest about who you are what you're thinking don't expect people to guess okay if you are expecting people to guess how you're feeling if, like if you're gonna sit there in your high chair and say well I'm just gonna wait till this person comes around that's not how it works that's not how it works okay you are stubborn we get that but you need to be able to have this structure this routine this dependability to change to be proactive um this is what it's calling for in your life money and career uh i feel like you're finally going to start to see the rewards come from this you're going to gain some sort of status and success in your career choice i feel like um you're going to be very driven and, and concentrated on that solely i feel like there's good opportunities coming as well so maybe you can consider a job change also it can be a sign that an older male or a, a person of authority who has been in the business longer than you can give you some sort of guidance and support that you need. So whether that's financial or um, just speaking with each other, that's something that you could be looking for as well. You need to keep reasonable control of your spending. You need to be aware of where your money is going. I cannot stress this enough, okay? Also, the emperor can be a sign that you need to ground and protect yourself, which is why you are having the change of uh, thoughts here, the change of mind. The hangman is part of the major arcana as well, focusing on your soul, your mind, your spirit. Um, deeply rooted issues. You are changing the way that you see people, the way that you see situations, um, and that's why the hangman's reversed. Okay? You are not trapped anymore. You are able to be free, but don't be impulsive. I feel like impulsiveness is uh, something that kind of lingers with you a little bit, Cancer, at least with this time right now. Okay? You need to ask yourself if there are feelings of you trying to avoid con confronting or or changes that you know that need to be made but you're just you just can't do it if there are you need to reconsider your fear this is why the hangman's reversed because he is changing the way um he thinks he's the only person keeping himself trapped here he can move on so can you your attitude towards life will determine life's attitude towards you okay 
Um, that's a really big message for you, Cancer. It, it fits dealing with people. You may be rushing into um, relationships or into the next step. You need to take responsibility for your role in your relationship with people because you need to slow down, slow down. You need to try and figure out how um, a pattern, how a routine is able to, to keep the relationship going. You need to be able to resolve any changes in the relationship. Um, if you're single, it could just mean that you were holding on to fear. Maybe you're um, afraid of being alone, but these are issues that you are experiencing and they, they are salvageable, um, but you are not currently prepared for them, okay? So be weary of that. I think this has a lot to do with this. I feel like the hang, the hangman is definitely tied to this emotional outburst. I feel it's also letting you know that you may be resorting to blaming other people. Um, if you think that the other people are the problem, you need to remember that accountability is something that we all need to work on. Um, and that goes for the career at work. You may be like, oh, this person, like you may be, like you may be blaming the other person, the other person may be blaming you. You need to figure it out. Figure out what you want, go for it, figure out how you can, um, kind of reclaim your power but not taking the other people's power because you don't want to be paralyzed by fear you don't want the other person to be paralyzed by fear you want to work together it's kind of like I'm, I, it's you, you need to change your your circumstances for sure in the workplace and if you're struggling to cope financially you need to consider seeking financial advice from a professional um not just from anybody, this is a professional. So this is a, a fresh perspective, might be all that you need just to kind of get things in the right direction. So I feel like you need to ask yourself, am I doing the same thing over and over again? How can I adjust my, my living situation as well? Okay, so let's see what angel messages are coming in for Cancer. Ooh, we just had a card flip out there. Get more information with the five of swords okay um so get more information swords are about change their conflict their power but it's also how you use the swords in a constructive or destructive way get more information about what you're compromising on but also get more information about why you're being accountable for your actions what have you done that you need to address what has the other person done that needs to address? This is all about releasing stress here and overcoming a, a major sacrifice. You are risking everything. And if that's the case, you need to get more information, okay? Let's see what other messages are here. Recovery. Now, I kind of feel drawn for this one. This is a big card to get because not only are you changing your lifestyle choices, your perspective, who you are, um, this is part of your recovery. You have been trapped for so long that you are now able to free yourself and they're there. Like this is you here and this is your angel behind you. They are there protecting you. You need to feel that presence because they are like pushing you to be somebody who can be well respected, somebody who has overcome all of these hurdles here to get to this spot of glory is what I'm hearing. Okay. So what do we need to get more information about? This is what I'm curious to know. Oh, we got the two. Of, oh, we got a couple cards jumping out here. So you have the two of swords reverse. You also have the justice. Okay. So these are, some big cards to get already the two of swords reverse this is again change conflict power but the swords are also um showing this ball of energy being trapped and like i mentioned the journey that we are on um we measure on a scale of one to ten well two is about making decisions this is showing that you need to get more information about um the truth there are some things that are going to be exposed and you need to know more about it 
if you're going to take accountability, like I mentioned before. This is also really overwhelming. I think you have a lot of anxiety and stress over some sort of current situation that is um, making you totally overly cautious or maybe it's causing you some sort of emotional turmoil here. Uh, but you need to speak your truth and you need to really pick a decision. I know that you're at a crossroads here, but it can affect your life in ways that um, you're experiencing emotional turmoil in the relationship. Maybe you were feeling a little bit detached from your partner, um, your friends, your family, and it's causing a lot of anxiety problems or even resentment. But like I mentioned, this is you waiting you're waiting on other people you're waiting for people to come to you and i think sometimes they have and you've ignored them because of this mentality you've had for so long um you you can't avoid the situation so don't avoid the situation be gentle with yourself go out and meet new people or um feel free to i just i I think you need to draw a line if you're in a relationship you need to draw a line underneath the problems and learn to not resent them and work through them and be truthful about it that's a really big one as well i feel like you're very overwhelmed with work or you have a lot of stress and anxiety about work and if you're able to uphold whatever here you've got you've got options you've got a lot of things that you're thinking about here and that's why you need to get more information because you need to be practical and balanced in your approach with money and and work but this major arcana card the justice card this is just showing that this is a karmic lesson okay this is something that you well, this is something that will work out in your favor ultimately because you are in a recovery phase and I don't see anything negative for the end of February, but I do feel like this is finding your, integri your integrity. It's also the cause and effect. So I mentioned like this outburst. I feel like if somebody's going to have an outburst, it's because there wasn't a cause and effect here. So these circumstances are either in your control or they are totally beyond your control and, and either way you, you must try to keep yourself on an even balanced uh, keel here because the justice card can also indicate that you have a choice to make when it appears it's like see I mentioned the number two decisions choices you're weighing up your op your options here okay things are going to be resolved fair in a balanced manner but this is a life lesson. This is a karmic justice. This could also be your consequence. I feel like sometimes we need consequences. Our actions have consequences. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. So this is just letting you know that the sooner you learn these lessons, the better off you'll be. All right. This, this recovery process is important for you. Um, getting more information is important and also trusting your gut, okay? Don't overindulge in an area of your life. Try to keep everything in moderation. All right, Cancer, good luck to you and enjoy this Mercury retrograde. It's okay if you're feeling a little bit ass backwards. Um, if you want your own personalized reading, feel free to message me. Everything you need to know will be linked in the description. Happy February!